Caller. Okay. C caller, Hello, go ahead. Hello, caller. Who is it? Hi. We, yes. Hello? Is it Melinda again? <laughs> Hello. Hey, I got a question for you, David. Yes. Okay. So since you are Jewish, but you don't practice it, what type of woman are you looking for? Who, me? Yes. Oh, gosh. Some. Uh, what kind of woman am I looking yeah, for? You know, what kind of woman? I don't care. You don't care. I do not care. What I care about is who she is as a person. I'm not looking for a specific religion, a specific body type, specific, you know, I mean, I, I, I mean, there's a certain range of attractiveness, but it's really just about who she is. People so, always say, what are you looking for? It's kind of like, you don't know, you know when you see it. Okay, so does it, do they have to be a certain age as well, or what? <laughs> are you into granny sex? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> What? Wait, wait, when did this become? I mean, are you looking for a 20, 40, 50? I mean, when did this fine. become the dating show? Who is this, by the way? <laughs> it's a friend, apparently. It's right. Who is this? A friend what, of what's the your show. name? Cecilia. Cecilia. Hi, Cecilia. Hey. I used to have the biggest crush on a woman named Cecilia. Oh, is that right? When I was in college. But let's not go there, okay? Because if she ever watched this, I'd start blushing. Oh, um, yeah? Even though it was so long ago. Well, what, maybe she's free well, now. Maybe Cecilia's free. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. right. Why don't you give her a call? I don't know where she is. <laughs> now, Cecilia, basically, well, look, if I said to you, if I turned that on you and said, what kind of a man are you looking for, would, do you have specifics in mind? Um, well, I don't know because I'm married, so I don't know if I should say anything because my husband might be listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the point is... Whenever anybody's dating, yeah. you basically try and find, you know, and I'm single, and you try and find someone who you can connect with, and you can't connect with everybody. And as you get older, it becomes even harder because all of a sudden you kind of have a certain space that you've created for yourself that gets entrenched, and it's tougher to open up and let somebody else in. Okay. So but if you're asking me personally, I'm just looking for someone who can kind of, I can create that space for and connect with just like I'm sure most people are. Yeah, so let's tell the viewer out there to call in. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, do you have a question, any other question about anything more generic as opposed to my personal life, which I'm gonna be not as clear on <laughs> as I might be on other things? <laughs> no, just checking to see. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Cecilia. All right. Thanks for calling. All right, see you later. You're not my, right. you're not my old college teacher, are you? N no. Okay, fine. <laughs> Because I really had this, I have a couple of pictures of her that I took when I was in class, right. and I still have them, and I look sometimes at my photo album, and I see her, and I go, yeah, I had a crush on that woman. But I couldn't have gone out with her at the time, because uh, I was basically terminally inhibited. Ah, uh, but you <laughs> know what, there's nothing wrong with those emails. Let the emails come in. Okay, email, <laughs> we're ready to answer emails. It's just easier when you're actually able to communicate. Oh, well, that's true, but, okay. you know. Email is another way of contacting you. Okay, well, thank you for the call, and um, nice chatting with you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.